Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and today I'm going to show you Super House of Dead Ninjas, which is a game that was recently launched on Steam, currently selling for $5, and it was originally just a Flash game on Adult Swim Games website, as you can see in the bottom right there, uh, and it was obviously free there. And uh, when I saw this on Steam, I went and checked it out on the website and realized it was a lot of fun. and went through and checked out what else they had to offer, which is their namely a map editor, but there's also a couple extra bosses and a couple extra weapons, so I feel like uh, the game is a lot of fun, so it's definitely worth the $5 asking price that they are currently uh, asking for on Steam. There's also a comic here to explain the controls and the gist of the game, but that is uh, not necessary for me, because I have played quite a bit of this already, and I find it incredibly fun and incredibly addicting. As you can see right now, there are quite a number of my um, items that I've unlocked here, including a Molotov, grenades, and uh, the token gun, which I find is an amazing weapon, so I'm definitely going to use that. It's probably OP, but whatever. And uh, I'm also going to use uh, the Bomb Boomathon, which is just a regular bomb that can be remote remotely detonated. And you can also unlock extra uh, upgrades and... Uh, other items that you'll find in the game, so I've upgraded quite a bit of myself just by playing the game and being awesome at it. Uh, and yeah, and I've also unlocked quite a number of suits which you just get for killing enemies, and uh, items here which you have to usually do like achievement type things in order to unlock, and these you don't have immediately, these you get later in the game. Or not later in the game, but you get in the game in crates and whatnot. So I'm gonna start off by going on normal mode and I will just show you how the game plays. And I'm using a controller right now. There is no in-game controller support, but I have x Patter, and it's not really much of an issue for me to um, set it up, so I am using my controller here. And it's, I'm getting a little bit of a slowdown here, which is not very good, but we shall see if that will remain an issue or not. So once you kill a certain number of enemies, you will get a rage that you may have just heard the narrator yell, and that means that I'm invulnerable, and I'm also killing every everything in one hit. And usually most things die in one hit anyway, but right now I am invulnerable and just tearing everything up. When you first play this game, trust me, I'm making this look very easy right now, but it is not very easy at all. Use my gun to kill that guy very quick. And when they have a name, that guy's name was the Danger Expert, they always drop items. So I lost my rage there, which means I'm not invulnerable anymore. You can see a rage bar at the top left. And just killing enemies in quick succession is all you need to do to unlock your rage. And the controls in this game are very simple and very fluid once you set up your controls um, well. The original controls state that using the up button will jump you, but I found that was a little too uh, inconsistent for my liking, so I switched my controls around so my A button is my jump, and therefore I'm also my up button in the menus, which is a little weird, but you get used to it. Uh, and that's because I just want to have more control with my jump than what they originally give you. I hate these monkeys so much, but I took care of him. So yeah, the game looks uh, definitely looks pretty simple, but the fact that it is so simple and everything is so easy to tell what's going on, it just makes it incredibly addicting because, trust me, like I've said before, I'm making this look very easy. You will not do this well when you first play this game. It is uh, not the easiest game in the world when you first start off, that's for sure. It's very fast paced, but I think it might be slowed down a little bit because of my fraps, which isn't very good, but whatever, I can't really use any of the programs for it. I've heard Camtasia works pretty well for this, if, if you have that, but I was looking at the price of that, $300, that's not happening. So I will, I just set up my uh, video differently, my resolution options and whatnot, so I can actually get the, the video quality that I needed in order to put it on YouTube, obviously. So, I'm just gonna continue on here, murdering everything that I come across, hopefully you can get rage. After I kill this guy, oh, don't step on the spikes. Unlike Spelunky, you cannot walk through the side of spikes. It'll hurt you nonetheless, even if you don't jump on them. And you can see my life bar at the top there. 
The game's a little confusing. That is your life bar. It's, it seems like a health bar, but they s explicitly call it life, and that's because uh, what you would normally consider lives, like when you run out of that health, you will get game over. And you get two continues on normal mode, and I'm pretty sure on hard mode, you get no continues. So I am on floor 281. When I get to floor 250, I will face the first minion of Abargus, I think his name is. He's the big demon that we fight at the end of the game. And uh, we'll fight his minion in a second. So now, so most of these enemies, well not most of them, but some of the enemies, like that one I just killed, takes two hits most of the time to kill, but since i play played this game enough, I have an upgraded katana, so I always behead my enemies. Uh, so therefore, they always die in one hit. There's not a whole lot of depth to the game, but there is quite a lot uh, to unlock and different weapons, which I'll show off later. I just got a smart bomb, as you just may have heard the announcer say, which kills all the enemies on the screen. Ah! Oh. When you hold down when you're in the air, you always do an, like an attack. Depending if you're running or not, you will do oh, a spinning attack, or you just attack straight down like that. And there are ghosts here, which stops the timer, which gives me a little chance to talk, actually. Even though my rage bar is going down, I don't really care about that, because I'm going to fight the boss soon. So now that I have actually some time to talk, you'll notice that there's a timer in the bottom right there. Now, this isn't really a huge deal, but when you first start playing the game, I'm pretty sure you only have a 30 second timer, no matter what. And then you'll have to pick up a time power-up, which you can actually see down there, um, right next to that crate. So you will constantly need be need to look for those time upgrades. And for a lot of people, uh, they might not like that pressure all the time. But honestly, it's barely there because you move so fast as a ninja, and you're constantly moving anyway that it's that it's not an issue. And if you ever need to take a breather, of course, you can just pause the game. So it's like I said, it's not really an issue. And as you progress, you actually unlock. Um, upgrades to your timer, so therefore you... <laughs> I got my rage anyway, even though I wasted all that time there. So like I was saying, you, you'll you unlock uh, a longer time bar, more items, and whatnot to make it so time is never really a factor. So we're gonna fight the first boss here. And the first boss will be Rage, the Ferocious Lion. So I'm just gonna shoot him, and then attack him from above. This guy is really easy. Oh god! Oh, I'm out of ammo for my gun? Oh. When you do a downward attack, it's actually like one of the most strong abilities. One of the most strong attacks in the game. And he drops a bunch of items, and we can continue on. So, now I'm going to... Floors 250 and below, aka the Abyss of Nature. So there's different themes, as you noticed, as we change, the colors change. And I just got X-ray glasses, which you can unlock for by reading the comic. And then you can later find those items in the game and crates. If you see a skull upgrade like that, do not pick it up because they are not good items. They will like deprive you of all your weapons. And since I got those x-ray specs, I can now see what enemies are carrying. So that guy I saw had a letter. And those letters spell out where am I with a question mark. And if you can spell that all out, you can uh, get a ticket for the... I don't remember what they call it. Uh, it's like an infinite dungeon. I don't think it is an infinite dungeon, is it? I don't know, I've never been there. I should check that out. But uh, that is the thing that they added with this game. With uh, it being on Steam anyway. So I'm gonna blow that guy up as well so I can get another letter. Because once you collect all those letters, like I said, you get a ticket. Uh oh, I'm running out of time, but see, it's not really much of an issue because the timer was right there. They do give you those timers um, just where you need them to be for the most part. I haven't had an issue with dying to the timer and in fact when you run out of time you don't just instant die it's kind of like Spelunky where uh, a ghost will come out oops that was not good ninja ing even though it said good ninja ing there um, yeah so a ghost doesn't come out it's actually the Grim Reaper this guy has a letter on him so I'm gonna blow him up ah I didn't want to hurt myself but I did anyway it's shameful to spray all right so we're just gonna continue on and Gonna get that power up, those guys carry bombs for heads. Oh, I didn't get that power up. As soon as I acknowledged that power up existed, I did not get it, which is a shame. But I got my rage again, so I'm vulnerable. Hate those monkeys, but they haven't been a problem thus far in this video. And we're actually getting to a treasure room, which time stops. And we can meet, I think his name is Smithy, the skeleton, and he needs to get laid. Not to, 
to rest just laid. He's always hitting on this girl ninja. I haven't really touched on the fact that she's a girl, but that's not really important anyway. So since I have the x-ray goggles, I can see what's in these chests. And um, there's timer extensions, which isn't much of a... Much of a bonus in my opinion, because I'm never going to run out of time. Well, <laughs> he says, and then he's going to run out of time, watch. We shall see. So, another monkey. The only reason why they're annoying is because they charge at you, and they're a little sporadic. A little hard to tell what's going on when they attack you. So, whenever you talk to these ghosts, like I uh, mentioned earlier, the timer stops, but they also give you some decent advice. And uh, often, oftentimes, it's uh, some things like you wouldn't... You wouldn't realize like if you press down and then when you flash you can do a jump that is like probably twice or triple as high as um as your normal jumps and you can also double jump which i haven't explained yet either i feel like i'm doing a pretty bad job explaining what's going on but this game is just so fast paced i have to keep going or else i'm doing it wrong all right Bodacious. Um, so I'm on floor 177, which you can see in the bottom left, with 137 kills now. And once I get to floor 150 is when I'll face the next boss. And then when I get to floor 0 is when I will face the final bosses for normal mode. And I say that because once you go into hard mode, there's actually an extension of the dungeon, which I have not got to yet, because I've barely even beat the, those bosses there. I say bosses because there are two of them. And just shot that guy with my gun, and you can see my ammunition in the bottom left. I have 9 bullets out of potential 30 and 10 bombs. Oh, I love rooms like that because it just basically gives you free rage, which means you're invulnerable. These frogs are pretty annoying too, but not when you're invulnerable. Oh god. Go! Stupid monkey. And I just got myself a full ticket by spelling out the entirety of where am I you may have noticed on the left of the screen there. So that means that I can go to the infinite dungeon. I have a number of tickets already, so I'm not really uh, concerned about getting them so far, but I probably should be. So you can also see the ghost of me. I was killed after running out of time here, apparently. I don't remember actually doing that, and I kind of assumed I said I didn't run out of time. Now this boss is a pain in the ass, but I think I have a pretty easy way of killing him. And yeah, we're definitely going a bit slower than uh, I would like. Now I'm going to show off my magic. You can, uh, there are multiple types of magic. Oh god, that was bad. I heard him, but I also heard myself. I'm going to use my magic next time he jumps down. So right now. And I summon, I guess, like a spirit of the winds of some sort. And it destroys, oh god, that was terrible. It destroys those statues. Ah, oh, did I blow myself up again? Bombs are really good against this guy, especially when you can remote detonate them. Uh oh. I blew up the statue instead of him. I think one bomb does three damage, so we should be dead on the next one. I could be wrong about that. <sighs> or, you know, if I miss the bomb entirely. Okay, I have four more bombs left. Maybe I should just shoot him. No, he's dead. Cool. Dodge the statue, and I got an achievement. Doomsday! Alright. So, got a bunch of uh, items for that. And now we're going to continue on. And after this, depending on how long this is, I can't even tell because I'm using fraps and it doesn't want to tell me how long the videos are. And this is in full screen, so I can't check out Audacity. So, yeah, whatever. I'll check out the Infinite Dungeon afterwards. I know it's not called the Infinite Dungeon. It's called, uh, something else, <laughs> obviously. It's got a duck underneath those spikes, otherwise you're going to get yourself hurt. Get another timer. And yeah, this is just basically the whole gameplay in a nutshell. Like, It seems like it's pretty simple, that's because I've played quite a bit of this already. And that was dope, apparently. Oh shit. Oh, shit. I fucked this up, I fucked up the timing. But I don't feel like I'm gonna, and in, in any danger of uh, the Grim Reaper coming. And this statue is actually carrying an item, so let's actually blow it up. Let's see what he has here. Oh, what the hell is this? Thank you, I found a, a fairy! Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever seen a fairy. And I definitely need a timer. Oh, there's one. I probably should have waited a second so I can show you the Grim Reaper there. But whatever. It's just pretty much exactly like the Ghost in Spelunky. Where, uh, you can... You have quite a bit... Of, not quite a bit of time. The Ghost in Spelunky is a lot slower than the Grim Reaper is in this game. 
but you are also a lot faster. No, that's not really true. You're not really that much faster than you would be in Spelunky. Even though they're not really the same game at all, but they are kind of comparable, I feel. So, we're gonna keep making our way down. I love that you can just hold down and... <laughs> freaking cool. Oh, okay, let's show off the Grim Reaper now since there's a timer right there. And three, two, one. The Grim Reaper comes. There he is. Yeah, he's right there, but I got the timer, so he disappears. This um, slowdown is starting to annoy me, but I don't think it's going to be very noticeable anyway. It's not really that noticeable, and for the most part it actually is not even there for the most part. So we're going to keep going down. You, you can actually just skip most of the enemies. There's not really much of a point in killing enemies unless you want score, which you know is pretty important for some of the achievements. And uh... Yeah, I'm getting some of the, like, the costumes and whatnot, which require kills. And I'm running out of time again, which is what that sound signifies. Oh, that was just stupid damage right there. I just ate it. And did I get my timer back from getting hurt? I guess, because I didn't pick up the timer and my it reset back to 40 seconds for whatever reason. I don't know what this fairy does. It's the first time I've ever gotten a fairy. But from what I can tell, you uh, just have to blow up a secret... Um, blow up part of the, the landscape in order to get that fairy, which is weird. Um, yeah, so that's just teaching you about the super jump right there. They're, the ghosts are randomized, so they're, they're not always going to teach you about the super jump right there. And for the most part, I didn't even know about the super jump until, I don't know, maybe my third or fourth run through this game. Because they don't really... They do have a tutorial, but they don't have a tutorial for the super jump. And I think, indeed, when you get hurt, it resets your timer, which is weird. I didn't know that before. Shouldn't have gone that way, but whatever. Maybe I should turn down the blood just so I don't lag as much. <laughs> Alright, get more bombs, and then I'm gonna on floor 44. And different types of statues do different attacks. The red statues do like a fire spit attack, while those guys do a wall of fire, which is harder to dodge. Contemplated waiting for that ball, but I think I made the right choice there. Oh god, I'm running out of time, and this is not a good place for that. So this is probably going to be scary, because the Grim Reaper is coming, so I'm just going to book it. Oh, this is not a good place at all for the Grim Reaper, because now I have to go up. Where is he? Where is the Grim Reaper? Oh, there he is. There. Okay, well, I did pretty good, pretty good. Oh god. I'm not feeling comfortable <laughs> about this at all. I don't know if he hurts you or if he just flat out kills you. We're about to find out, because... Oh, I got hurt. So, the timer reset. Okay. That's odd. So yeah, that's good That's good to know. Every time you get hurt, your timer resets. So it's another reason why the timer isn't such a big deal. Oh, that was very bad. See, that's why I don't like frogs, because they're just such a small hitbox. You don't really consider them a threat when they are. They definitely are a threat. Ah, try to kill the demon, it didn't work. Sometimes you see those pillars, but most of the time they don't really present much of a challenge, or much of a threat, I should say. Well, they aren't a threat, but they can be a challenge. So I guess I was wrong. Cat-like reflexes. Ooh, achievements left, right, and center in this video. Alright, so I'm actually at the boss. And we're hopefully not going to die. I haven't actually died yet, which is surprising. So yeah, I hate this boss right here. You can only hurt him with your sword, as far as I know. And he's a pain in the ass to hit, because you can only hit him when he charges up an attack. I'm glad that that it's uh, slowed down though, because it makes uh, his patterns easier to... Uh oh, oh I could have got two hits there, but I didn't, which is a shame. And you can't touch him, obviously, or he'll hurt you. But basically what you want to do is every time he charges up an attack, you do a downward slash at him. Oh, okay, one more hit and he's dead, guaranteed. Well, obviously, since he has one health bar left. And we have three, so this should be fine. Doing a lot better than I previously done versus that guy. That guy had I was stumped at him for quite a while. But I chopped off his other arm. That was the one armed ninja. And now I'm just gonna spoil the rest of the game for you, because now we're gonna fight the next boss. Who is Abargus. This guy is actually like much, much easier than the one armed ninja in my opinion, but he has double the health as you just saw. 
and <laughs> it's definitely going slow, which is a shame, but oh well. I don't plan on doing like a series on this or anything, even though I love this game. I contemplated it when I first opened up the game, like, ooh, this might be fun to do a series on, but I've already pretty much beat it, <laughs> but I haven't done anything on hard mode. So basically, you, I save up all my bullets for the bosses, because most of the time it's not even necessary. I guess I should do that and then attack. But yeah, this boss is actually really... I shouldn't have wasted a bullet there, but once you know what this boss is, it is a very, very easy boss to fight. He always does those two attacks. The one where... Ah, oh, that was so dumb. The one where he summons an enemy, and then the one where he slash, s slams the ground. Oh, God. And when he slams the ground, he also causes a little growth to appear, and you stand on that. And then dodge the juices that he spawns. So again, spawning another enemy and also spawning these explosive balls. And now he's gonna slam the ground. Super slow. And it was in the exact same spot. Oh, that was pretty good. But I think you can only actually hit it a couple times. And I'm running out of bullets, so that's not good. Just throw a bomb. Not like that's gonna help it all that much. And he's that, that frog is actually gonna drop bullets, which is great. And he got blown up by the explosive bombs. All right, come on, come on. Oh, let's go to this side. So I have five bullets again, which is great. Ah, oh, I'm wasting one, which is not good. Ah, wasting two. Uh oh, that wasn't the best move that I could have done, but whatever. I got through it. Man, it's going so slow. Such a shame. And it seems that once you run out of bullets, they just give you it. Two more hits left for me, which is not good. Don't get hit by his damn slam. Okay, over there. So we're going to hold down charge, the jump. I think you can, can only hit him three times no matter what. Or do three mu three hits of damage. If I use my magic, it only hits him once. And I don't know, I don't think it does. It might do three damage. We'll, we'll test. Kill that minion that he spawns. So he has five health. I'm going to use my magic next time. Okay, we're going to go over there. I don't know why. Okay, use the magic. Shot him once, and it did do three damage. Okay, so magic and one shot. Maybe I could have got a second shot and done a whole five damage and killed him right there. But I think we're going to be okay. Unless these balls just, like, destroy me right here. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. I, like, ducked underneath that one. I'm not quite sure if the duck was necessary, but... Oh, God. Okay. So, he is dead. Oops. There we go. And I got a new weapon for beating him. And I haven't died once. That's crazy. Maybe I should do hard mode. But that's not for this video. What I will show off is after this is the other dungeon that was added into this game that's not in the flash version congratulations but you need to finish the game on hard mode for the true ending all right so killed 227 enemies beat it in 11 minutes that was my longest that's pretty funny all right so you can show us how far you make in the tower but we already know we made it all the way to the bottom and we have un unlocked more weapons here i got the axe which i kind of have a feeling is gonna be like the Castlevania axes where you throw them in an arc because it says tricky to use, but you can hit enemies both above you and on the floor below. Yeah, cool. We got some more upgrades here. We got plus 20 projectiles, which is the bullets or shurikens that you start off with, or boomerang, which is infinite. Boomerang is a really good weapon, too. Um, so, yeah, I haven't unlocked anything else worth mentioning. So, let's go check out the trans dimensional leakage. Okay, it's the first time I've ever been here. We're gonna see how long it takes before something awesome happens. I'm thinking I'm only gonna do one or two. Like, I'm gonna go fight the. Oh, that was very, very bad damage there. I think I'm gonna go fight the boss, and then uh, I'll call this video quits, because I don't think there's gonna be anything in this. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, yeah that's exactly like the Castlevania axes. Okay, that guy takes three hits to kill, even with the upgraded katana. I could have showed off a better weapon, beside, or not a better weapon. Another weapon. I'm not quite sure if there is a better weapon than the katana. 
Well, it's, it seems like there's a each attack, each weapon has different uh, attack animations and whatnot, so it's debatable which one's the best. And they all do the same damage, I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh, I'm running out of time. That's not good. That's not good. That's really not good, because I'm stuck down here. Ah, oh, my god. Oh, I got hurt, so <laughs> never mind. Man, learning that when you get hurt, it resets your timer is like a great re revelation. Kill that cyborg knight. Oh god, I hate these. I don't know what- okay, I was gonna say, I don't know what colors those statues- or what those statues do, because they're color. I hate these enemies, because when you kill them, they actually- um, their spikes get bigger, so if you touch their corpse, you hurt yourself. So you always have to get away from them. I don't know what this enemy is, I've never seen him before either. That skeleton. Skull thing, whatever. And that damn frog fucked me up. Frogs, man. Frogs and monkeys are probably the worst enemies in this game. Are those football helmets? Those are football helmets. Oh, nice. Does uh, multiple hits there, that axe. So yeah, that axe is actually pretty uh, decent of a weapon. Totally blazing. Alright. Floor, oh, 45, 46, 47. Okay. So it just counts off your floor. So it is an infinite dungeon. And I don't have x-ray vision, so I can't tell what's in the chest. Treasure time! That's me, by the way. What the hell? You can't attack me. I'm in the treasure chest. Oh, I got instant rage. So now I'm invulnerable. Of course. As long as I can continue killing enemies. So I'm just gonna run through as fast as I can. Go, go, go! I don't know what this enemy is. Okay. That was odd. Alright. Can I... Okay, I can't go through the football helmets. I thought the football helmets were breakable floors, but I guess those are the M blocks that I saw earlier. Hopefully this... Oh! the hell? Super slow down. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know what's causing this uh, slowdown, but you know what? I think this is a good time, any to end the video. Yeah, we're gonna end the video here because it's slowing down and unfortunately this just isn't the... This isn't recording friendly in this game, but it is a very fun game and I think you should uh, check it out for yourselves. Uh, if not just uh, buying it on Steam, check out the Flash version and play it for a bit. It's a lot of fun. And you'll see, it is not as easy as it seems in this video because I know what I'm doing. I know, it's surprising. If you guys like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.